so everything is closed. There's a global pandemic and we can't socialize. So what do we do? In this video, I'm going to give you some ideas of what you can do to occupy your time. Welcome back. I'm Chris and I'm standing in a plant room. Uh, so number one, I would say you could start collecting some plants. Start taking care of them, learning about them, and uh, the more you have in a room, the better it's going to oxygenate your room. So it's kind of a beneficial relationship. You take care of the plants, they take care of you. Number two, grab that book you always wanted to read but never had the time, sit down and enjoy it. Read. Read a book. Number three, learn a new language. It's very important in the zombie apocalypse to be able to speak to zombies in as many languages as you can to reduce chances of being eaten by them. The more you learn, the smarter you are. Learning a new language can make your time go by faster. It can open doors of opportunity for you in the future and it can be fun. Number four, if you have a pup, hang out with your pup. Give that pup some tummy rubs. Pet your pup. Feed your pup, play with your pup, go for a walk with your pup, take a nap with your pup, give your pup a treat, and any other things you like to do with your pup. Exercise. Exercise is very important when you can't really go out as much, you can't socialize, you can't go to the gym, you wanna find things that you can do around the house, you don't wanna sit there and not do anything. You wanna do at least some kind of exercise every day. Uh, you can do anything from very simple push-ups, pull-ups, uh, you can do squats with weights in your hand without weights in your hand you could go for a walk if you're not in a very populated area like i live in a neighborhood and i like to go for night walks there's nobody out i like to go with the pup another pup walk go for a little walk or even a run when the weather's a little bit nicer so make sure you're doing some exercise exercise is important along with getting enough sleep and eating right in order to have a healthy immune system number six if you don't cook or bake what a perfect time to learn how to do that and if you do cook and bake, learn a new recipe. Try it out, test it, taste it, share it. But don't break social isolation to do that. You know what I'm saying? It's always a good skill to have. I have recipes that are very simple, such as my sourdough bread, which can be made every single day if you really wanna. And it's only three ingredients. It's very easy to make and it's a staple. You can have bread for the rest of the week you don't have to go out, buy it. You can make pancakes with it and several other things. And if you're interested in that one, I will link it below. So learn to cook because we all have to eat and it's a good skill to have. Number seven, pick up your phone and give a loved one a call, a family member, a friend, somebody that you haven't really had the time to talk to. Better yet, give them a FaceTime, face to face. Let's reconnect here. Even though we can't see each other in person, we can still make that connection over the phone. Let someone know you're thinking about them. Number eight, kind of piggybacks on number one with the plants, start your own garden. Either out in your yard or in your house. Maybe you want to just do herbs, but whatever the case, instead of having to go out to the store all the time to buy food, you can start to grow your own and be a little more self-sufficient. And in times like this, that's really important. Number nine, do you have some kind of talent or hobby that others might be interested in or might help them out? Start a YouTube channel. Start making videos of your talent or your hobbies or what you like to do and putting them out there for the world to see. It can be really fun and rewarding, I know. And this could be something as simple as just a hobby, something that you just do for fun every once in a while, or you could be much more serious about this and put a lot of time into it and post videos all the time and maybe even potentially make a career out of it. Number 10. And this is for those of you who don't already live in a house or an apartment that is completely neat and clean and no clutter. Well, now's the time to do that deep spring cleaning, uh, get your place organized, and believe me, you will feel really good and satisfied about it when it's done. Because I know I will when I get mine done. And last but not least, if you're still really bored, you can always go back to my old videos and binge watch them. I did a lot of zombie apocalyptic recipe videos. We had a lot of fun making them and uh, I hope you have a lot of fun watching them. And I know there's several other things you can do that are not on my list, but I just picked 11 to share with you guys. Let me know in the comments below some of the cool things that you would recommend during this time. Subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell. Make sure you get my notifications so you don't miss my videos. 
And as always, I want to give a huge shout out to everybody that supported me and my channel throughout the years. And if you're brand new or if you're an old time uh, subscriber to the channel, thank you so much. And especially a huge thank you to everybody over at Patreon, my patrons. I appreciate you. And now more than ever, stay safe, watch out for zombies, and I'll see you guys in the next video.